Today, I'd like to encourage you to consider three powerful truths about your existence that when believed and adopted can immediately change the trajectory of your life. Those three truths are number one, the seed of greatness lives in you. Number two, your work is not your worth. And number three, you have absolutely no competition in this life. You see, I became aware of these three truths for the first time in December of 2020, as I sat here on my couch in Northern Germany and was just thinking about my life. From the time that I've been a kid, I've always had this dream to become a professional athlete. And for the past 12 years of my life, that dream has been my reality. But somehow on that night, in the midst of living out my dream, I felt out of place. Have you ever had this feeling that you're not living anywhere near the life that you could be? Because that's exactly how I felt. If I had to use one word to describe it, I would use the word unfulfilled. But then I thought, how is that even possible? I've achieved so many things in my life. I've broken records at every level that I've played. I travel the world and I get to do what I love. I live a very good life. But it was on that night that I realized something that I would never forget, that a good life does not mean a fulfilled life. See, fulfillment is an internal sense of wholeness that comes by understanding the truth of your own existence. And through the power of your authentic self, creating impact on the world around you. The more I sat here and thought, the clearer things became. I've achieved a lot of great things in my life, but I didn't really know myself. And that was keeping me from creating fulfillment in my life. I realized that I was measuring my value on my ability to play a sport, that I had been comparing myself to the lives of people around me, and that I'd allowed this fleeting feeling of life's pleasure to keep me from creating an environment in which my seed of greatness could flourish. Over 2,400 years ago, the Athenian society looked much like our society does today. People were placing significance in areas that were negatively influencing the ideas, the conduct, and the outlook of society as a whole. And as society's compass was pointing them towards the wrong standards, one of the greatest philosophers of the time decided that he would dedicate his life's work to the betterment of his people. He knew that it wasn't the riches, the fame, the success, or even the productivity that creates this deep sense of meaning in life. Instead, he believed that life is best lived in a state that he referred to as eudaimonia, or as we know it, fulfillment. Plato concluded in order to reach this state, one must be able to do this complex yet simple thing, know themselves. I pose this question to you today. How well do you know you? You see, we live in a time where information is overloaded. You can get education from just about anywhere. You can learn something on YouTube anytime and any day. We know more and we're more educated as a society than we've ever been. Yet it seems that the thing we know the least about in this life is the truth of our own existence. I'll submit these three truths to you today in hopes that it will help you know yourself better and create a space for you to experience more eudaimonia in your life. The first truth I'd encourage you to consider is this, that the seed of greatness lives in you. You are destined for greatness. You always hold the capacity to be world-class. But it requires some things. Your belief, your active participation, 
You see, nothing comes into the world fully matured. Everything goes through a process of development. That includes the greatness that rests in you. And the main reason that many people don't believe they're great is not because they're not great. It's because they've never exposed their seed of greatness to the environment that will cause it to grow. The reality is that no seed can grow outside of the proper environment. Some seeds grow in the light, some seeds grow in the dark, but no seed grows in the wrong habitat. And your ability to be great is just a seed. And without the proper environment and nourishment, it will remain a seed for the rest of your existence. But with cultivation, with the working of the seed in the natural habitat, well, the growth is exponential. The second truth I'd encourage you to consider today is this, that your work is not your worth, that your value is intrinsic and can't be changed. See, the way we measure value in today's society is skewed. Somehow, many people believe that their value is attached to achievement. Like the more that I do, the more valuable I become. But that's not true. Your work is, it's not your worth. What you know or what you do doesn't give you any more intrinsic value. But I know why we think like this, because we use terms like add value. Like value is a point system from which we can add or subtract from someone's life. What we should be saying is we're helping people access and own the value that they already possess. You possess the highest possible value simply because you exist. And it's not a question of if you're valuable. The question is, do you realize it? Do you believe it? And do you allow your life to reflect it? And the third and final truth that I'd encourage you to consider is that you have absolutely no competition in this life, that nobody can compete with you. And I know that that statement is contrary to popular opinion. And trust me, I get it. I've been playing sports for the past 25 plus years and 12 of the last years have been played professionally. I understand more than most people the competitive nature of sports specifically, but life in general. But after lining up across from thousands of athletes on a baseball field, on track, on a football field, on basketball courts all over the world, I realized that ever since my first track meet as a five-year-old, with every new competition, came a new opponent. I recognized that the person that's been a part of every single challenge and competition that I've ever faced in my entire life is me. I'm the common denominator, and you are the common denominator for your life. And if you're always focusing on the person or the thing that you believe to be in competition with, well, you can't really establish a strong identity of self. Instead of focusing on external factors, take that attention, direct it within, so that every time you do anything, you can give the highest possible output, regardless of who or what is standing in front of you. You see, sports taught me that opponents are actually just two things. One, opportunities for you to showcase what you're capable of. And two, a mirror that will reflect everything that you are back to you. If you can truly grasp this idea of a competition of one, you'll live life with a newfound peace. By focusing on what you possess and the capacity that's within you, you'll start to live life in your own lane. And in that lane, nobody can compete with you. So how can you implement these three truths in your life? Well, number one is create a new environment. Your seed of greatness needs the proper place to grow. Surround with people who are gonna inspire you. Change your mental environment. Read books, listen to podcasts, travel, learn from those experiences. Find a mentor, a coach, someone who can draw the best out of you. Number two, remind yourself daily of your value. You are valuable. Get around others who see that too and remove yourself from people who don't. And number three, get to know yourself. Take inventory on what makes you, you. 
Stop comparing yourself to other people and start focusing your efforts within. Spend less time scrolling through people's highlight reels on social media and spend more time pushing the limits of what you're capable of in your life. See, I found out that by putting action behind these three truths, it not only improves your life, but as you begin to believe in your value, it helps you see the value in others. By focusing on competing within, it gives room to collaborate and empower with those around you without this feeling of me versus you. And as you start to push the limits of what you're capable of and your greatness, what allows you to give the world one of the greatest gifts you could ever give, your best self. When you live in the truth of your existence, it illuminates the truth in other people. And that ability to illuminate, that creates impact and inspiration in others, will guide your life into a state of what Plato called you daimonia. So are you ready to adopt these three powerful truths and live a life with a deep sense of meaning, a life of fulfillment?